First tonight, CMS still facing hundreds of teacher vacancies as it gets ready to welcome kids back next week. We thank you for joining us here for the news at 530. I'm Vanessa Rufus and I'm Carolyn Brooke in for Fred Shropshire. CMS says it still needs 360 teachers. That's a lot, but it says 96% of classroom positions are in fact filled. And WCNC Charlotte's Shamaria Morrison explains how teachers and administrators are planning for these vacancies. CMS schools like thousands of others in the country are heading into the new school year with less teachers. The difference that the district is trying to make is having a plan for those who are in the classroom. When there's not a teacher to cover a class, the quality of education suffers, and so do the teachers who must pick up the workload. It's important to me that we have plans in place to be sure that we're not adding on to the stress of teachers and that they're not having to take on a second class of, of 60 or 70 students. The principal at Harding University High says they've been able to staff all their classrooms. You still have situations that may come up, right? Folk may need to be out. Folk may need to um, experience a break in a, in a work day or change in a schedule. One CMS high school teacher says she has mentally and physically prepared herself for any shortages. Honestly, it hurts. Um, it, it's, um, it's not a, a happy song to sing at times. That means stepping in when she can. It's all about me knowing my team. So if somebody needs to go to the bathroom and I'm right around the corner or something like that, I'm saying, look, go go handle your business. Like, I'll look at your class. We'll maintain knowing the team, locking in. The goal for every school is to have a qualified adult in every classroom. We have a, we've developed a practice around here that allows for us to ensure that we have some out-of-the-classroom staff members that are able to step in in those situations so that we are not adding yet another burden on teachers. Schools need to keep morale high and teachers' vacancies low for smooth sailing this school year. Shamari Morrison, WCNT Charlotte.